Now that we understand some of the basics of how the Zerg army works and how to produce units, I want to look at a few of those different units and see how they work in the same way that we did with Terran. Now, keep in mind this is by no means a comprehensive overview of all of the units. It's more just to give you the flavor of what some of the different things that Zerg can do are. So we'll start with the basic garden variety Zergling. Now again, we've got some willing Terran kind of test dummies here who have been instructed not to fight back. And we're just going to go ahead and show you each of these units. Now the Zerglings move pretty quickly. They are not particularly strong, but they're very inexpensive and we're able to get a huge mass of them. So you'd never really see just one Zergling fighting. You're going to see a big pile of them all working together. Next is the Roach. You can almost think of this kind of like the Zerg Marauder. Remember that big, beefy armored unit? If you look at this guy, he, he even kind of looks big and beefy and armored. So he's going to work in a pretty similar way. He's got a fairly strong attack with a slow rate of fire, and he's very um, highly armored and is able to take a lot of hits. Next is the Hydralisk. This is a high damage output but fragile unit that attacks from a pretty long range. We see a pretty quick rate of fire and pretty high damage. Next up is the Baneling. Now this is a very sort of splashy, exciting unit because it essentially explodes itself to deliver a burst of acid that's going to hit multiple enemies at once. So let's see that in action. We're going to get it up real nice and close here. And we explode and you see all of these different units were hit by that one Baneling. Again, commonly you'll see a, a big kind of pack of these guys and they'll all roll in together and explode. And so rather than simply wounding a handful of units, you'll see an entire chunk of enemy army just disappear. Next up is the Lurker. You can kind of think of a Lurker as almost like a Zerg siege tank. They have to kind of get into position and then they have to use an ability and then they're able to attack. And you see they shoot out these spines and they hit anything that's roughly in a line near where the spines hit. Lastly, we have the Broodlord. And this is a flying unit that sends out other small units to do the fighting for it. See these kind of launch towards the ground and start fighting. So this kind of gives you a little bit of the flavor of some of the different units in the Zerg arsenal. And they're really kind of fun and I think that they um, really kind of fit well with this sort of like weird, gross alien theme that the Zerg represent. And hopefully that kind of gives you sort of a, a picture of the diversity that exists within StarCraft that really allows players to choose, you know, what units they think are cool or what units really allow them to express their play style within the game.